Just in case, I think I'm good to go. Die alone. I'm gonna be freaking terrified, aren't I? <laughs> Bothers me that the, that the mouse cursor is still there. You will witness suffering, but survival is expected. You will not escape torment, but you may survive. Leave behind all hope of survival. Bitch, I ain't no bitch. I'm a bit of a bitch, but it's fine. Every choice made, every action taken has consequences. Some will save lives, some will result in death. I've sacrificed everything searching for it. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power, infinite in knowledge, voracious in hunger. The entity. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him. Frank Stone, my key, my killer. I am Augustine Lieber, and I'm about to change our worlds forever. Okay. okay. Strong star from the world of Dead by Daylight. Coming to a theater near you. Ooh, fr my frames. I have to work on some of the chance quality. It's fine for this custom I'll fix it once I have control.
figure out the day I'm definitely gonna have to fix this. That's unfortunate. Cedar Steel Mill, Steel Mill 1963. Jeez, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to fix the settings. <laughs> That's a gross ass snore, holy crap. Damn. I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. I thought it was Harrison Ford. But just you? Covering the entire site? Oh, no. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Mother Manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin? My dog. Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fellow could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. So, you and the dog. Merlin. Merlin. You two are security for the whole mill? I know, I know, overkill. But between the two of us, we get the job done. Though, I don't know where he's got himself to tonight. Maybe I scared him off. Scared him off? <laughs> that, that is a good one. Thomas Jefferson Holtz is the name. Call me Tom. Officer Sam Green. You ain't one of Kusich's deputies, are you? My captain has loaned me to Sheriff Kusich as additional manpower for the duration of this investigation. Oh, you mean the business with the missing boy? That's right. Oh, a flask. Just Been drinking, Tom? Just a little nightcap. Nightcaps usually happen before a nap. This a regular habit? Regular? Oh no, not regular. More soda medication, taken only in time of need. How often is that? That what you come out here for? To give a veteran a hard time about his medicinal practices? No. I'm here because a child is missing. And every minute wasted is another chance gone to find him. Boy, you ain't gonna find him here. I'd know it in my bones if that boy were within a mile of this mill. What makes you so sure? Is ESP a side effect of your medicinal practices? Now that is out of line! Sorry, officer. I want to help. I really do, but... I don't know what else to tell you. Welcome to have a look around the place yourself. Thank you, Tom. I think I'll do that. Happy to oblige. Still don't have access. Uh, <laughs> still not controlling him yet. gonna work on it. Uh, okay, I can change the difficulty if I'm getting frustrated. Uh, graphics. Let's just go down to, oh, that's, oh, yeah, okay. 
Let's just go down to low, see if the quality is better. Still getting the same amount of frames. Oh, what's that? Does it? I can't see. to take away my pain, take away my nightmares. Alright. Let's it's kinda creepy that I'm just hearing his yelling now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Get in through there. Okay, that frame rate thing is kind of bothering me. Like, is there a way to fix that properly? Display, VSync off. Oh, turn that off, turn that off. I set those up earlier. I don't know why they're back. Um, full screen, res really don't want to play this game at 1080 because then it makes everything look weird. What happens if I do that? Oh, no, that's stretch. Damn, I don't like that. Nope. Uh... Huh. Easy does it. No, I have to do 1440. I just, I just can't. I guess I will, I will put VSync on, not that that's going to help for anything. Okay. I was getting way more earlier, so I don't, I don't, I don't know, whatever. As long as it's a steady, it's not going to be bothering me.
employee's personnel record. Date employee, February 4th. Surname, preferred name, T E F A. Date of birth, April 17th, 2027. Uh, current position, machinist. Address, Singer How, Cedar Hills. Criminal record, one charge of assault, robbery. Meridian ID, 530.6. Sponsor, R. Lee, release three, five dreams. Habilitation, sponsor, main contact, Dr. A. R. Alright. Friday the 13th, afternoon, 1400 to 2200. Harold Norris, Dennis McCain, Bobby Rivers, Frank Stone, Lou o Osterman, Graveyard 2200 to 6 o'clock. Not applicable. I will not be able to return to this area, okay. That's hardcore. The harshest flame yields the hardest steel. Howard Kinsey Tester. Alright. Hello? Anyone here? It's police! Who's there? like death. Don't say that. Okay, I have to climb that way. Let's go this way instead. Sounds like Merlin to me. <gasps> oh no. Jump scare. Right? Oh. Hey. Mister, that's Officer Green. Sure. You haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Yeah. Sorry. Ugh. You all right there? Ugh. Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. <laughs> ah. It can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? Death. Nothing good. That too. So you're just gonna stand here or are you gonna follow me? Oh, you're following me, nice. Got my little companion. Someone tells me he has something. Merlin! 
There you are, boy. Okay. We wondered where you got to. <gasps> it if you two made proper acquaintance. Ugh. God damn it. Ugh. Well, death was right. Gross. You put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? Oh, shit. Will you look at that? That damn dog? Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? There's no proof it does. But what if... Do yourself a favor and park that thought. Because all your guesses so far tonight have been way off base. Which way did I come from? That way, so I was going to say. Did that just park the thing in there then? Must have just like that already got. So I guess What was that sound? Stay behind me. I guess any uh chest piece I come across I put it back in there then. So, what is this thing? The grate? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. Find something to try and pry open the gate. Oh. Huh. Gotcha. Somebody can be had even has the the dead by daylight. Huh. Ding, that's funny. Huh. I'm obsessed with that game on the because of my girlfriend. Stand back. Oh. <coughs> 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 
Why is he crowing so much? <laughs> So he just stood there and didn't offer help. <laughs> All right, take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know, but I got a feeling, and it's not a good feeling. Hey, I'm gonna need you to take this too. Make sure the sheriff gets this. Oh, oh boy, I don't know. Sure, could use a little pick me up right about now. Hey, you really want to be remembered as an old drunk who could have done something when he had the chance? That ain't you. Don't let that be you. I... I... Step up. Get your head straight. All right? Yes, sir. to the furnace chamber. Ooh, the horse. What a horse. I know what it is to believe. Through the forest, the path is clear, and the fire waits for me. down here. This has got to be it. Uh -huh. Someone is engaged in strange rituals in the hidden areas. This place turns my stomach.
goddamn small spaces. idea wasn't it because I saw that he was in the shadows ah. holy shit I almost failed Over in the pipe in the furnace chamber without permanent damage to his shoulder. That's good. Okay, and this one was Sam trusting Tom to help him when he needed him most. Okay. Nice. And under collection, the champion. Okay, I got those two. Okay. Yikes! 
sleep tight, motherfucker. is right. I've never played the Quarry or the Dark Picture games, but I loved Until Dawn, so I can only imagine that this game is going to be up there with how good that is.
wouldn't do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side of the road. I mean the left. The left side is the right side. Is that a hitchhiker? You need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. So am I. Okay. <sighs> yeah, so do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way? Uh, guess not. Pick up the hitchhiker. <clears throat> so we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. So, um, where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from, currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon, once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice, or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried, you might try to clonk me. Ah, uh, sorry. So, what do you know about this manor we're both coincidentally going to? Hmm. What do you know about it? <laughs> Hold on now, that's not fair. I asked you first. Okay, well, I don't know anything, and I'm guessing neither do you. I didn't say I didn't know anything. Yeah, you did. You could tell. Kinda. Yeah. All I know is that I was invited for a personal audience with Augustine Lieber, and that that was supposed to be super fancy or something, and that it would be in my best interest not to turn it down. Hmm. Huh. What? My invitation was pretty much the same. Hmm. Over. Noise. Hey, take a look. There's the manor. I think we've come to the end of the rainbow. In the house of darkness. Garant Manor 2024. 
This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. So, um, do we just knock or... I'm not sure. Oh, I... doorbell. Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Anybody home? Is it gonna mysteriously open? It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way is it. Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Because you're a grown-up. <laughs> so are you, Maddie. <sighs> then, uh, here we go. Apparently. I need an adult. I am an adult. I need an adult or adult. Why are all the lights off? Beats me. Hello? Let's take a look around. Um, hello? We've arrived. Look around and find Augustine Liebeer. However you're supposed to pronounce your name. That's nice. I actually really like that each container. Unless it's supposed to be the same container. Who knows? Huh. Even I could play this. I'm sure I'll find a piano somewhere. Really digging these creepy cottage core vibes. I have asked the staff to take leave and vacate the grounds ahead of your visitors arriving. I recall hearing mention that your visitors are all collectors with a shared interest to yourself. If this is the case, would it not be preferable, even desirable, to keep one trusted staff member on hand to handle any precious items if required? I recommend myself for this duty and do not consider it below my station, for I would relish the chance to look and handle your precious items in the private reliquary. Should it be needed, I am only a short drive away if called upon, and you needn't concern yourself with discretion. In my three years of service as an estate manager of Garant Manor, Garant Manor, I have pr proven to be a model of preserved provid property and reliability. I await your response with keen anticipation. Your devoted devoted servant, J.F. Grimes. Hey, I think I figured out why there's no one here. What? Why? I think they must have forgot we were coming and went on a trip or something. Maybe. Do you play? Um, a little. 
Whoa. <sighs> crazy, right? Uh, crazy. Yeah. Well, I was crazy once. You've seen a real secret passage before? It's fairly common for old mansions like these to have concealed corridors to allow the servants to come and go while being seen as little as possible. You got some of these in your house too, huh? Secrecy is a privilege of the rich, stolen from the rights of the oppressed. Okay. What's this? Hmm. That's sick. Kid must have had a creepy doll on their Christmas list. The Huntress from Dead Medilla. that's cool. I like that line, actually. I was wondering if there was going to be, like, a lot of references to Dead by Daylight, or if it was just here and there, but... This seems a bit more lively. The skill checks, the random uh, audio cues, the Huntress... Ladies, hello, hello, welcome. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so. <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. Short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah. Middle name, Lexington? What? Midtown. The Big Apple, the, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue, okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Um, have you been waiting here a while? More than a minute and less than a lifetime. Is that long? Well, it certainly felt that way until you arrived. The front door was unlocked, so I wandered around How and made myself at home. Make him die. Till I found a way to really make myself at home. Hella cringy. Isn't it kind of weird there's no one here? I mean, we were invited, right? Ah, yes. Well, one could write a book in all the incomprehensible complexities of British hospitality. Many have, in fact. Oh, Stan, this is... Lynn Da Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, okay, sure. Bruno Stanford III, at your beck and call. Only if you call me Stan. We don't talk about that. <laughs> sure. No. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> uh, so, what's going on right now? Uh, well, I think our new friend here is familiar with some of my little oh, movies. Hold on, hold on. Your movies are a lot of things, but they are not little. You're a filmmaker? Uh, yeah. I've made some movies. <laughs> a lot more than some movies, if I may say so. Have you heard of a little film called Buried by the Break of Dawn? Blood point. Blood benders. The blade may swing in both directions, but death only moves in one. Um, blood no. Point, Sorry. To Wait, didn't you two come here together? Right? Oh, no. I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry. I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. Nope, just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. <laughs> I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what, did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host, wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. The epic of what do you do, Stan? Ooh. Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but 
It involves money and fast cars and oh, trading. Words. But nothing A legal. A bit of light Have bedtime reading. Oh, obviously. My friend Humbaba, guardian of the forest, grind up, kill, pulverize, and destroy him before the preeminent pre god in Enlil hears and the gods are full of rage at us. Enlil is in Nibur, Shamash is in Zipar, erecting an eternal monument proclaiming how Gilgamesh killed Humbaba. They tied together a raft, and Kidu steered it while Gilgamesh held the head of Humbaba. Read carefully, Norman. Study close. When Kidu tells Gilgamesh, we saw, or he saw beyond Humbaba's pleas for clemency, recognized by Aaron, sparing the demon would undo our heroes righteously won victory. That only a violent demonstration would stir the watching gods. There is no room for mercy in the pursuit of glory. The heavens will not be open for a champion that shows restraint. <sighs> Book attempting to illustrate Norman how acts of violence... What was that? Um... So I obviously missed something, but that's okay. If I decide to add it 100%, I can just use the cutting room floor. Huh. Movie poster inside Do a cabinet. Interesting choice. Mail? Hey, either of you heard of murder mail? Holy shinobi! You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. It should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times, and each time the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements. I... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA's got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they uh, use it for enhanced interrogation. References. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. Huh. Is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> ah, good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes. And speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. Mm. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison, would you also like a refreshment? Ah, uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie, it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call nice. myself Augustine Lieber. That's really sneaky. Uh, nice to meet you, Augustine way to play Lieber. Into it. Now that we are properly I introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Sure, yeah, 
I'll just have whatever Stan's having. Of course. And you? No, thanks. I think you may like it. Never had a drink in my life. I don't plan on starting now. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do you show me yours? Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. Your drink. Thanks. Oh, I like those glasses. That's the entity glass. You okay? I think that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, no, it's... it's nothing. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly, should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one-of-a-kind value. Not quite. I... I, I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You're welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course, Ms. Castle. Okay, okay. We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The so ritual the disrupted. Villain? My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. Shit. Wow, chapter three now. You just don't get it, do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial you're Sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. <laughs> no, no, no. My sister. Oh, God. All I have to do is betray my own sister. 
And you will let me go free to fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! You fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. Ah! What is that? What are you doing? And cut. How was that? That was amazing. Really? It wasn't like too much? No way! Because I felt like maybe I oversold it a little? You gotta play to the cheap seats, Jaime. That's where the money is. Rad. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh, let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little Super 8s? Um, no, actually. The lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft, jeez Louise. <laughs> so are, are we good or what? Yeah, I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well. Linda, you did get the blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you oh, get any Jaime. of it in I was, frame? I was crossing it, Jamie, you kind of see it head. splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, oh, Linda! I told you I wanted a wide close up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting. Not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as an. Wide close-up. Or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? I'll defend you. Of course. Chris, you're the director. But, like, part of the job is working with people you trust, and... I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Let's just shoot both versions, and then we can see which way works better in the edit. And it'll be my way, because I'm the director. Wow. Hold still, let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. <laughs> mm, worth it. You guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh, fuck! No! Oh, dude, that is not good! What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, oh shit. Uh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff. Right. Sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. 
This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Okay. Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. So... Oh, man. We're Sir, we're, we're really sorry. We, we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, May. We've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He can't. And we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And, uh, don't forget to clean up. What are we supposed to do with a busted up camera? You get it fixed. Finish your movie. Anywhere else but here. What the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. out, sir. Thank you, Jaime. Now remember what I said, because I'm not going to warn you again. Yes, sir. Good game. This is a good game. We're going to continue playing it. 100%.